Welcome to the first Learn to Hunt NYC podcast video tutorial. I'm Fisher Neal and I'll be your host. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how to do a DIY turkey hunt in a place that you've never been before. Throughout the course of this, uh, every week I'm going to be broadcasting a different type of tip or instructional video that will help you get out in the woods or on the river somewhere outside to uh, find some food. So, this year, I am going to a new part of New Jersey, where I live, um, and I'm going to be hunting uh, in a completely new area um, because there's supposed to be a lot of turkeys there. So let me show you what I've done here. So, in many states, New Jersey is no exception. Um, the rules are pretty complicated. Um, and in the case of New Jersey, they have the whole state broken up into zones. Um, and when it's turkey season, you have to buy a permit that's specific to each zone. It's only good for a few days. And uh, so you really need to be able to take advantage of the time when you do get a permit for a zone. Now, some zones you can buy over the counter. They don't sell out. And some will sell out immediately through a lottery process because they're in such demand. So, what I have done in looking for a new place, the first thing that I do is I'm trying to figure out where the most turkeys are. And so what I do is I'm coming right here, and I'm looking at this stuff here. You see on the New Jersey Fish and Wildlife website, Spring Gobbler Harvest Data from 2004 to 2018. So this shows me, based on year and zone, the number of turkeys that were legally harvested in that zone. And if you look down through here, you'll see that there is one in particular. There's a couple of zones that stand out as being zones with high harvest rates. But this zone in particular, zone 20, has 684 birds, which is almost double the next the next closest zone and um, that seems to be consistent you can look year over year it is pretty much the highest harvest zone so what that's telling me is um, despite the number of hunters and the heavy hunting pressure there that habitat is producing a significant volume of turkeys so you have a lot of successful hunters there so I've chosen that I want to hunt there. So when I applied in the lottery, I applied for tags in that zone. And I did, in fact, win tags for the second week called B week and the third week called C week. So for weeks two and three of New Jersey's turkey season, I have tags to go to zone 20 and hunt. But now I've never been there before, and I've got to figure out where I can go. So back to this very valuable page. And you'll see here is a link that tells you where there is public turkey hunting land in these zones. Another reason why I thought it was worthwhile to go to Zone 20, which by the way, Zone 20 is in the southernmost part of the state, so it's, you know, it's about a two and a half hour drive from where I live just outside of New York. So I'm going to need to get accommodation and it's, you know, it's not a simple thing to just go in there for the morning. But, if you look, we have quite a few wildlife management areas located within that zone. Another thing that I'm looking at here, they have um, wild turkey harvests and population estimates. So I can look at that, but this is more of a statewide thing. That's not the thing that I really wanted to see and show you, which is, oh, the primary turkey range in public land in New Jersey. So they have all the zones broken down and telling you what counties they're in. The primary range of turkeys in Zone 20 is only 88 square miles. Um, so, you know, one factor could be that the zone is so big, that's why there's so many turkeys being harvested there. But you can see here, um, some other zones, like Zone 16, are massively larger and still have much lower harvest rates on turkeys. So the fact that there's, you know, it's only 16% public land, but, um, you know, only 88 square miles of it are the primary turkey range. So if I can uh, find some public land that is within that primary turkey range, 
I'm going to be most likely in some world-class turkey hunting on public land in New Jersey. So, how am I going to figure out which of these properties are the ones that actually have turkeys on them? Because a lot of these places, as you'll see when we look on Google Maps, see this area roughly in here? That is uh, more or less where Zone 20 is. And you can see from satellite images, it is a lot of farmland, bottomland. You've got these like river bottoms that come through and stuff that flows into the Delaware River Bay. Now, part of that too, though, is that all of this stuff is swamp. So a big chunk of this wildlife management area, for example, which is part of the zone on the list, is uh, it's all saltwater swamp, which is not habitat for turkeys. So I've got to find stuff that's more inland, or for example, parts of this property, as it turns out, parts of this property around here and over here are actually like agricultural farmland. So that is quite likely um, turkey habitat, maybe worth scouting when I go down to scout. So, you can see now the main reasons why I've chosen this area. There's a lot of turkeys being harvested there. There's a number of public lands from which to choose that I can explore. Um, and there's, um, yeah, places to go. I've got my tags. So, one of the next things that I'm going to do, uh, the next part of this process will be I'm looking for places where I can go and pitch a tent down there. Um, through Google searching campsites, I found that there is a, uh, there's a public a state park where I could pay 25 bucks a night, uh, or 20 bucks a night in order to pitch a tent, which I may do. Um, but I've also, I posted on Facebook on a hunting group in New Jersey, and uh, I already have um, one offer from a complete stranger who will allow me to pitch a tent in his yard. Um, you know, a lot of times people are unwelcoming to hunters, but um, in many cases, you know, if you just ask, there's nice people out there, and with as much reach as a thing like Facebook has, or like a hunting forum online, um, you can go to these things and put out feelers, and uh, you never know what kind of opportunities it might open the door to. So. The next part of this process is I'm just going to methodically go through this list of the public turkey hunting land. And one of the other ways that I'm going to do that that's going to help me is this um, thing called Onyx Maps. You have to pay about 35 bucks a year, I think, for it, um, but it's worthwhile if you're going to be hunting a lot. You can see these areas that are shaded. I've already kind of preset this up that I can look at the Abbott's Cove Wildlife Management Area. You can see right there, it's showing your Abbott's Meadow Wildlife Management Area. It's showing me, you can see all this over here is not, that'd be good for duck hunting, but this is not most likely somewhere that turkeys are even gonna be physically able to be. Whereas though here, the marsh ends, right? This private land that's forested and big fields, and here's some big fields that are uh, public turkey hunting land. So this is an area, and like over here, that might be worthwhile to come through and scout. One of the other ways is, so now I've got this list here. Another part of the Fish and Game website is they have a list of all the wildlife management areas. So part of it is figuring out where the managed wildlife, man wildlife management areas are. Part of it is figuring out um, which ones are worthwhile to scout, because I'm only going to have so much time when I get down there in order to go and uh, try and choose a spot to actually hunt. So I'm going to go through all of these. I'm not going to do that with you today. I'll probably do another broadcast with you later on. Um, but I'll show you, so it's, you know, I can look at this, Abbas Meadow, and I go to Cohansey River, WMA. So I'll go back to this page, find it, it's alphabetical. Cohansey River, 1,474 acres um, in Cumberland County. So now I've got a map of that in Hopewell Township. A lot of times, so now I've got to figure out how I can find this thing online. It looks like this area here is probably too swampy, but this area up here is steep bridges and stuff. That's 
quite likely turkey habitat. And this right over here, I don't know what that's about. That may be also good turkey habitat. So what I'm going to do now is, like I did with this one, I'm going to just do a Google Maps search. Tohansi River. Uh, oh, there it is. So now that gives me a much better idea of where it's actually located. And the satellite image, so I can see it's further south. Abbas Meadow was like over here. There we go. I can come back and coordinate on on X map figure out which one I'm looking at. Somewhere around in here, I think. That's probably it right there. Another fun thing about it, I can click on a property and it tells me who owns it. So if I'm trying to get permission from this person, uh, I can go and address um, Miss Beverly Arnold by name when I knock on the door and ask her, um, you know, if it's okay for me to hunt on her place. She'll probably say no, but you never know. other thing that I can do before I get there, this is another tip for anybody who's trying to use the internet to scout ahead of time, uh, because it's a very powerful tool. One of the things I've got to figure out is where can I park? How can I access this place? So what I'm going to do for that is the first thing is I'm going to go back to my map and see does it show any designated parking areas. And this isn't showing any designated public parking areas for this wildlife management area. That doesn't mean that there are not places where I can access it. Let's see. And that's a lot of where Onyx can come in. That's Girl Scouts. What is this piece up here? Is that part of it? Uh-huh. So this up here looks like that steep area that we see on the map, or it's part of it that small piece and then there's this big piece up here around the lake so that's very interesting there's a Girl Scouts thing there at the same time that it's a wildlife management area so that certainly thickens the plot I may not be allowed to go and hunt in there because there's a Girl Scout camp there or maybe there are areas within it where I'm allowed to hunt but it certainly doesn't um, seem to say that I'm not allowed through this. And wildlife management areas are properties that are specifically set aside for hunting. So that is something very interesting. I may have to make a phone call to figure out what that's about. But in the meantime, I can look and see, well, a lot of that is swamp. Some of it may be accessible. So what I do is I go back to Google Maps and I look very closely for pullouts. Sometimes you can quite rarely spot them. Looks like that's all people's private land. It may be something that's difficult to access. Yeah. There's a road there. It looks like a dirt road that goes into the wildlife management area very swampy in through here. I'm not sure where birds would roost. You might be able to get birds roosting in here. Very private land that you can see here on Onyx map. That is a place where I could potentially pull right in and park and be able to on foot access all of this land, even though uh, there's not anything officially there. Another really great tool actually for this is often Street View. Sometimes in these rural areas, there is no Street View. Look at that. Now I can see that those are cornfields, or at least some of the time they're cornfields, and I can literally drive along these roads and uh, find little pullouts and things that are not otherwise visible from the satellite image. That is a process which I'm going to spend several hours on in preparation for going down there. 
I'm going to be using Google Maps to decide where I want to camp out, where is it far enough, you know, away from the most number of places that I want to stay, or most number of places that I want to investigate hunting. And then um, if I have time, I'll go down before the season starts at all and do a day or two of scouting. Um, if I don't, I'll go down at least a day ahead of the season starting and uh, scout some of these places on foot so I can know for sure, am I in good turkey habitat or was this place all swamp or what? And that way, I'll have a good chance of uh, potentially hearing some gobbles at dawn and actually getting on birds, which is what it's all about. Okay, so feel free to hit me up with questions, anything you like, shoot me an email. Um, you can find all my contact information on the website, learntohuntnyc.com. And uh, yeah, hope you all have a good day and tune in next week when I'll be uh, talking more about how to do this stuff.